Hi, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, bonjour. A while ago, I made a keyboard, and because I'm a really famous YouTube personality, I decided to record the whole thing. Yesterday, I was bothered to edit everything, so here we are. Uh, lovely unboxing here by yours truly. Uh, this is the Drop Sense 75 keyboard. The box didn't open very smoothly, so you know, keep that in mind. It's a real ish deal breaker for some people, you know. Um, as you'll see in a second, it came with a cable, uh, but the cable is very short. It's a USB C to USB A. Um, I'm like stretching to reach my computer. That's bright. The LEDs are really bright, which is lovely, but I'm putting opaque keycaps over them, so. Hmm. Um, it pings, which isn't really the best sign for acoustics, but we'll see. Oh uh, yeah, no transition, <laughs> forgot to record the second part. Um, you know, putting key, uh, putting switches in. Um, uh, this is, this is, this is good fun here, you and I are watching this, this is, um, oh, there goes one, okay, exciting stuff. Um, Maybe we should, maybe we should speed it up a little bit. Hold on. Lovely. So there's a bit of a sound test. Uh, the space bar doesn't press properly, the stabilizers weren't hooking in at all. That aside though, it still doesn't sound amazing, so I used my very limited knowledge of, of keyboards uh, and did some modifications to various parts to hopefully make it sound better. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that lovely montage, it took three hours to edit. <laughs> Please help. You might be able to see that the stabilizer on the enter key is a little bit damaged, so I'm not really happy with these stabilizers out of the box, I might replace them at some point. Loving all these close-ups of my hand, it's some squishy tape, and I put some of this overexposed tape um, on the keyboard as a for kind of force break thing. Next I put the provided tape on the back of the circuit board and stroked it for some reason. I... And then the last step to hopefully make it sound a little bit better was the foam in the bottom, which I've seen like pillow foam recommended, like little cubes, but I only had some um I can't remember what it's called. Anyway, just foam. So I cut it all up and dumped it in the bottom. Wow. Take a look at that. Lovely. Alright, second sound test. Here we go. It sounds a lot better with the mods. Um, it's not amazing still. It's a tiny bit clacky, but I wear headphones most of the time, so... What does it even matter? Alrighty, full typing test. I think I got 102 words per minute. That's pretty good. I, I don't know, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. Okay. Alright, so in terms of price, it wasn't super expensive in keyboard terms it was about 300 australian you can convert that as you will um was it worth it maybe it sounds pretty nice it's fun to type on it it's really loud i think the um switches i got are just really loud oh right i should probably you yeah, know the specs uh it's a drop sense 75 keyboard with epomeca wisteria tactile switches they feel lovely like it's really fun to type on um, and the keycaps are the Drop Futures keycaps. I think they look really lovely. Um, I'm really happy with like the pink and green. It's pretty. It, yeah, that's about it. Um, all right. If you made it this far, thanks for watching. Whatever that was. I will. I'll see you at some point. I'm probably. I'm gonna say this, and school is gonna hit me with so much stuff. But I'll, I will, I'll, 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 I'll upload more things soon, probably, hopefully. Um, various 
games. I'm working on an AI project that I would kind of want to share, like journal. Um, yeah. Thank you. Uh, I love you. Bye-bye. <laughs>